Hello my friends and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing some work on Komorebi, the tiling window manager for Windows written in the Rust programming language. In today's video, I wanted to I wanted to add support for styling the active window border a little bit. Uh, so somebody reached out to me and uh, they introduced me to this tool, win 11 toggle rounded corners dot exe, um, which I think I need to run as sudo. And this gives you back the square corner style here you can see uh, that we used to have in Windows 10 and I actually prefer the style a lot. I do not like rounded corners particularly. Um, but you can see that the Komorebi border is still rounded. So uh, we should we should do something about that, right? Um, yeah, we should do something about that. So uh, before I go ahead and do that, there are two things. Uh, one, I want to show you where to get this uh, this tool from. You can get it from here. I haven't used it extensively. It seems it seems pretty cool. Um, I think it does like some just in time patching of DWM exe. Like I would read through all of the um, the caveats before you actually decide to run this. Don't just uh, do it on my say so. Uh, do your own investigation research about any potential side effects, but it is here if you would like to give that a shot. Uh, the other thing, the other thing that I'm very, very excited about is that we we reached that goal of 20 sponsors. There we are, 2-0. Amazing. So as promised, uh, this video is going to be dedicated to the two sponsors that brought us uh, brought us to the goal. So that is PJHFGGIJ, thank you so much, and Nia Bryce, thank you so much to both of you for your support. You have made history. You have made history in bringing us to 20 sponsors and hitting that goal. Now I have to add a new goal, but one thing at a time. All right, let's get into some code, shall we? So, all right, let's see. Uh, we keep a bunch of border related things here in the static, in the lazy static block. I'm just going to add another one here. Uh, relatively close by, so I think border color is not here. Mm, no, border color is not. Border rect is here. I mean, that's close enough. All right, so we'll do static ref border. Oh, oh, before I do this, I need to actually have something I can put in there. So why don't we back up? Why don't we back all the way up? and go to the static config where this is going to live. So we have active window. We have active window border here. We have active window border colors. So I guess it would make sense for us to have active window border style. And this will be We'll make an enum. Uh, active window border style and default is gonna just follow the system. Uh, so let's go to here and we're not gonna make a struct for this. We're gonna make an enum. And it is going to be called Active Window Border Style. And so we're going to have, we're just going to follow whatever the system does. Uh, we are going to have rounded 
and we are going to have square. Actually, I think round is better for this. Round, yeah. Uh, follows the system border style. Follows the Windows 11 rounded border style. Follows the Windows 10 square border style. My typing has gotten so bad lately. It's because I keep having to switch between Windows and Mac OS for work. Different keyboards, different keyboard layouts. Um, my my typing and my shortcutting has really taken a hit. Uh, okay, so active window border style. Well, that's a lie because I know for a fact that that is now in scope. So why are you lying, IntelliJ? It's it's always either. Either Windows is lying to me or IntelliJ is lying to me. They are both conspiring against me. Uh, so we need to add a default here. Um, yeah, I think we should add a default to this. So let's derive default and let's say that this is the default. I think that's how it works. If it's not, we'll see. And then in order to have something here at 413. Where is it? Active. Active window border style is going to be option from. So. We'll leave that like that so it errors out so I know to come back to it. So this is where we're going to add in our active window border style. And it's going to be arc mutex active window border style. And we will default that to active window border style system. We'll follow the system style to start. Uh, we need an import here. Mm, or do we? Set it config everything. Ah, maybe we don't. Uh, okay, so we have that and now we can do active Window border style load and that should be happy. Should be happy. Mm. But it is not. Why are you not happy? I'm confused. It should be exactly the same as this. Um, that's atomic. Oh, I don't think it's load for this, right? Because that these are all atomics. It's um, it's lock. I think you get the lock and then you dereference the lock. Yeah, that makes more sense. Mm. Why did I change this one? <laughs> We gotta pay closer attention. All right, let's see. Almost, almost. Uh, does not implement the copy trait. I think we should because this is just a plain old 
uh, enum here. I think you need to do copy and clone. So we'll do that. And I think this gives us enough scaffolding now to actually make changes. So this is going to come into play when we apply the globals. And you know, I think it's going to be something like this. Um, cell dot active wind active window border style unwrap or default and we'll get the lock. Wait, wait do we need the lock? Yes. Um. Let moot active window border style equals active window border style dot lock. And then we can set the active window border style to this or yeah, the value inside that moot x guard to this. Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Uh, so at this point, we have added a new option to our static configuration file. When we change it, it gets loaded, it gets stored. Now we just need to do something with it. So right now i believe it is this windows 11 that gets used um yeah uh and so if we have windows 11 then we uh we use a round rect to draw the border uh otherwise we use a rectangle and um, interesting thing there is no there is no real kind of easy way to determine if someone is running Windows 10 or Windows 11 because if you if you run like a version command Windows 11 looks like a build of Windows 10 so you have to make sure that it's a build of Windows 10 that is higher than this subversion. Crazy. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, but you know, it works. I guess it works. Uh, so we were here. And now we are going to do. We're going to get match active window border dot lock. Active window border style, I should say. Uh, why are we not getting the import for that? IntelliJ conspiring against me. Um, but, oh, okay. There we go. So, we'll do lock. Uh, we'll dereference that and match on it. Hopefully, we will today at some point. Um, this is super slow. This is super freaking duper slow. All right, so if we have, I pressed, I pressed cut like five seconds ago it took five seconds to update this is insane um and remaining patterns okay so we shift up our logic for system not square my apologies so if our active window border style is system and system is the default then we'll just follow um we'll follow what's there for windows 11 and windows well, not really Windows 10, just not Windows 11. 
so here we'll have square and square uses the rectangle and here we'll have round which uses round rect okay okay very nice very nice um yeah i think this looks good so we can stop Komarebi. Uh cargo run cargo run Komarebi. and uh i actually already have a reference to this i believe in oh no i don't I don't have a style for this, um, but that's okay. We can add that in now with active window border style, and we can set this to square. And let's move that here. And okay, so I had to do one interaction, but now we have those lovely, lovely square borders uh windows 10 and earlier style i don't know when operating systems went to uh this rounded window trend mac os is doing it as well it just it doesn't it doesn't look clean it doesn't look good uh i think it i don't know i think the design is kind of missed missed a beat there I I don't think I've ever actually spoken to anybody who likes rounded borders. I don't know. If you if you really feel strongly about rounded borders and you think they're the way forward, you can try and convince me otherwise in in the comments. I am I am open I am open to be convinced. Um but for now I think I personally am gonna go ahead and stick with the square borders so i think uh when 11 here it is so i think you can install this as a, a sub oh it's not implemented you can't auto start um but you know what i don't particularly mind running this once when uh, when I restart or when I start Windows, like I don't restart that often. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this. What do you think? Are you gonna are you gonna try out the the square Windows look? Um, it should not be too much longer until you can try this out. I am hoping to get a release out for this. Uh, this weekend. So the next release is going to be version 0.1.23. A whole bunch of cool stuff coming into this release, including including square active window border styles. Um, I guess we should we should just make sure that everything works right. So I'm going to change this to round. Um, Okay, and now we have the round borders again. Uh, let's change this to square again real quick. And then finally to system, we expect them to be rounded. Uh, okay, that's loaded and it is rounded again. I'm going to set that back to square for myself and I think that is it for today my friends i think that is it for today uh so before we say goodbye let's say a very big thank you to all of the current sponsors of como Rebi. uh i believe we do still have some private sponsors so let me open this in private browsing mode so that I can respect their privacy. All right, so a very, very big thank you to Azine, James, 
Pavel EFL one P private sponsor number one near Maxwell P J H F G G I J uh Hiro DM one six eight one Red Lobster Darian Kwang Shorefire Solomon Private Sponsor number two Evan Alex Julian and of course the number one the OG Hisayuki. So uh I noticed that there are a number of uh, current and previous sponsors who are on the Discord who have not claimed their sponsor role. Uh, there isn't a way for me to do that automatically, but if you are a current or a past sponsor, just drop me a line with your GitHub username. I'll be very happy to give you that nice green sponsor role. Uh, if you too would like to become a sponsor, head on over here to the sponsor page you can be a one-time sponsor you can be a monthly sponsor and honestly even a dollar a month it makes a huge huge difference to me i appreciate it so much so much uh if however if however you are not in a position to become a sponsor the very very next best thing that you can do is hit subscribe on the youtube channel where i assume you are watching this video right now the channel was monetized at the beginning of this year which means that all of your interactions your likes your comments uh every second of of ads that you watch before you skip them um that that gives me a couple of cents here and there and it really is just uh sense at this point uh, but we are working up to dollars uh, and maybe at some point we'll make the minimum to get a payout um, but yeah it's a really really simple easy and passive way for you to support this project if you're not in a position to sponsor all right my friends that was fun i haven't made a video for i think two weeks almost so it was it was nice to get back on this uh i hope that yeah i think we're, we're we're at that point i hope that whatever you all do today you have a great great day free palestine and i'll see you all back here next time